Thanks for watching another episode from Crane Creek Kennels, and here's a word from our sponsors. Guys, if you're needing some type of hunting supply, head over to nightlifekennel.com and check them out. They have all your hunting supply needs that you may want. And uh, y'all heard me talk about them. Check out those sport dog beacon lights. Guys, if you're going to be in the woods at night coon hunting, you're going to have to have a good light. Go see my friends over at sunspotlights.com and get you one of their lights. They have a couple lights available. Check out that extreme rage with that green laser. You can show your buddy right where that coon is when he says he don't see. Him. Hey guys, it's Jason with Grand Creek Kennels. Uh, me and James is out here tonight. Uh, it is cold. I don't know what the temperature is, but uh, it's been below freezing for several days. It's spitting snow on us now. Uh, don't know if we're going to get anything done, but uh, we're going to give it a shot. But real quick, uh, one of our new sponsors is uh, Sunspot Lights. Um, I wanted to uh, go through this light uh, real quick before we turn Ranger loose. Uh, that is your low walk beam. Um, this is your next uh, beam. This is your, as you can see, it gets a smaller beam. And actually, I like this beam. Uh, you can kind of see it down through the woods there. It's, uh, it's not as bright as the bright beam, but coons will look at that. And then, of course, this is your, your uh, bright beam. And I don't know if that does it justice on camera, but uh, man, it's a, a really bright light. It's really nice, so uh, I, I really like it. And then uh, if you turn them back, you'll, we'll come back to center here to where it's off. And uh, we can go backwards. And this got the low red uh, right there. James has got it on camera. You got the bright red. And probably my favorite is this amber light. They really look at it real well. And then this light has the laser on it. You can see there on the camera. Uh, when I remember it's there, it comes in real, real handy for uh, showing the coon up there. So uh, anyway, that's a that's a little tutorial on the light. Um, if you if you don't have a light or you're looking for a light, you're looking to upgrade a light, um, go check out Sunspot Lights with an S on the end of it. Dot com. Um, I'll leave a uh, link to their website in here. Go check those guys out. They also got a Facebook page. And uh, we'd like to uh, thank uh, Nightlife Kennel uh, for sponsoring this video as well and Rusty Cotton Design Company. Uh, if you're needing something for hunting supplies, uh, whether it be the, the Dan's jackets, uh, the Sport Dog Beacon Lights, which with what you'll see a Ranger have on, go check out nightlifekennel.com. Uh, also go over to Nightlife Kennel on YouTube and if you're not already follow those guys make sure you click the subscribe button and subscribe to them I'll also leave a link to their website in the uh, description and then also uh, Rusty Cotton Design Company we appreciate them uh, reaching out to us sponsoring the uh, channel um, they make, made some flags for us for our local coon club for the winners for the uh, bench show um, if you're needing something like that, reach out to those guys. I'll leave their link down in the description below. Uh, go over there, check them out, send them a message. And don't forget, make sure you put kennel in and you'll receive 15% off uh, any of their products in their store. We're going to get this dog out of here and get him turned down in the woods. Let's go. Guys, if you need some flags for your coon hunting club, go see my friends at Rusty Cotton Design Company. They can hook you up. And if your wife is mad with you or girlfriend's mad with you, you might can pick her up something while you're there too. They have all kind of designs and products on their website. Check them out, Rusty Cotton Design Company. All right, guys, here's the situation on the ground. It is froze solid. We made one drop. He went about 75 yards, made a circle come back to us. We're here at the second drop where he treated the cedar the other night and uh, he won't hardly go away from us. So um, we may make try to make one more. You can see the snow coming down. Uh, temperatures are supposed to get colder and colder for the rest of the week. I was trying to get him out and see if we can get on something, but uh, don't look like that's gonna happen. Uh, he just ain't got quite enough nose for for a night like tonight, and the wind's blowing, so it is uh, it is really really cold out here on uh, me and James. So we're gonna get him loaded up, and get back in the truck. 
Me and James is gonna try this one more spot here. You can see the snow falling. Kind of come down here in this bottom, got the wind off of us. We're gonna try it here. And if we don't do no good, we'll call it a night. So we'll see what happens here. He left us, so maybe he'll get in there and get something treed. All right, guys, 126 yards that direction. He just was 130 this way when he come back to us. Didn't open up. So we're gonna see what he does that way. Um, we looked at the weather a while ago and it says that with the wind chill, it feels like it's seven. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's uh, it's definitely, definitely cold, that's for sure. Me and James either gonna have to build a fire or get in a truck or get to walking one of the two. So hopefully he'll get in there and open up and get something treed. If not, it's all right. We, he got to stretch his leg. We got to go hunting. So we'll uh, we'll see what happens here. All right, we're gonna call it. It's cold. James bundled up like an Eskimo. I ain't far behind him. We're cold. We didn't strike anything, but we got to go hunting. He uh, he went out about 130 one direction, 180 the other direction. He never opened, so come back to us. It's just too cold standing around the truck, so <coughs> we're gonna uh, take it to the house. Hey, if you're watching the video and you haven't subscribed to our channel, take a moment, click that button right there subscribe to us we really would appreciate it and uh if you're not already watching them and not already subscribed to them go check out nightlife kennel on youtube and muncie outdoors those guys would appreciate it just as much as i would thank you there's the puppies that's that's about as still as i can get them to be is when they're in the kennel and they still ain't real uh still and you see they spilled their food but uh the one on the right there is cowboy, and that one on the left with the more square head is uh, is Hank. Uh, so that's Hank. They're standing up, and then this is cowboy here. They're uh, they're getting big for sure. Uh, you can see their ice buckets keep freezing. I have to keep coming up here and knocking them out. But uh, with the door shut, they're pretty warm. You see. Uh, Hank has the has this little spot of white on his chest there. I was kind of hoping he'd grow out of it, but he didn't. That's okay. As long as he trees couldn't, that's all I care about. So we'll uh, we'll see what happens with them. Anyway, I just want to show them to you. That's that's about as still as they get right there. Uh, it's really hard to keep them still whenever they're uh, they're out of the pen. They are getting big though. We're gonna start doing some uh, some obedience training with them. They still don't listen too well, not like Ranger. So we'll have to get started on that. Anyway, there's an update on the puppies.